Good evening guys, Stefan once more from Plentiful Plantful and today we are making tomato sauce. So unsweetened tomato sauce as it were. Certainly without the added sugar, in fact no sugar at all in this case. And you can see my arrangement here quite neatly. So obviously first of all to the left we'll just come in closely here we have the aubergine. Now that's um, half an aubergine obviously sliced up. And next to that on the right you have quite a bit of tomato. So that's actually three, no fewer than three tomatoes sliced up. If they do certainly help to thicken up the mix and obviously to really bring out the flavour. And again to the right of that we have a sweet potato and a half. Slightly obscure there, there we go. And you're probably wondering what that yellow stuff is to the right of that again. And that's actually sweet jackfruit. So sweet young jackfruit. So quite a unique take on your traditional tomato sauce concoction in this case. And to the right of that we have some organic tomato passata. And to the right of that as well, again, you'll see the balsamic vinegar. And to the right of that further still we have cardamom powder. This is obviously a sweet curry powder to really bring out the flavours additionally as well. And we also have our water filter here with water pre-prepared there in our water filter to add to the mix shortly. And some veggie stock, oh, and garlic that you can see there on the tablespoon. So let's put it all together. I'll start with our sweet potato at the bottom of the mix. And I'll grab some tomato, there's plenty there of course. In fact you can really just do this as you wish. There's not really a method or a, or a madness indeed to go about it. You can really do it as you wish. So I'm just adding things obviously here bit by bit. It's already quite a bit, uh, a bit of a mix. We can certainly make or we'll use this across quite a few meals I imagine. It's certainly going to fill up our blender. Might have to press that down in fact a little bit. So we'll just get our tablespoon of garlic and oh, didn't even need to tap it like so give it a oh in fact that's probably what i wanted because like i said it's actually going to lend a sweet flavor albeit without the sugar likewise with the balsamic vinegar incidentally it's got a very characteristic sort of bitter sweet flavor if you like um i certainly find that's the case now bear with me i'll just open the screw top and that's off so let's just Again, I'm not, as you can probably notice, I'm not too fussed about measurements. So we're just going to quite simply pour a drop of that into there. How seamless was that? Now, finally, our passata. Well, not finally, but penultimately almost, our passata into the mix. So it does help, as you can imagine, to really help the mix congeal. There we go. That's our tomato passata into the mix. Let's just come across the blender itself, the top of the blender, and get a squiz into there. Already taking shape, will be before the mix itself is, uh, has done its thing. So some veggie stock here to my right, my bottom right, in a coffee uh, coffee cup. How lovely is that? And um, let's just again, I'm not going to use all of this by the way, that's a generous amount. But um, for now I just want to fill up the rest of the mix with filtered water. And as you can see already, it's quite a full... Uh, a full cup there, a full blender. So we're going to probably be competing against a number of elements here, but we'll see how we go. It is in some regards a test. Um, the reason being is usually I do it in smaller proportions, but I actually want to make some for later in the week. So I'm trying to do a lot more than I normally would. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a challenge to say at the least. Now let's just get the top of the blender sitting neatly in my dirty sink and chuck that on top of the, um, on the blender itself. So the lid is on top of the blender press down firmly of course and let's just make sure it's locked in place of course you probably will use a different blender this is the mix and go um, some product placement and by the way George Foreman mix and go pro obviously design our uh, far right of the blender itself we have this smoothie function and let's hit that and we're gonna hear some fireworks <laughs> So as we can see here, it's already taking shape quite nicely and you can hopefully see that it's thickening up as well, pretty readily. Looks like soup. Now by the way, if you were expecting it to be bright red, you're probably going to be uh, let down somewhat, I'm really sorry. Um, it's more a sort of pumpkin-y orange colour, isn't it, by the way? Um, of course, you, uh, the blender is off, so we're going to take this over here very carefully and pour it into our pot in readiness for consumption. 
So then, let's not uh, break stuff. Uh, as you can see here, the mix already is starting to take shape. Just before I've turned the um, element on itself, I'll just give you a bit of a sneak preview as to how that might look once it is heated. Obviously that's gonna further add to the texture of the mix. So let's switch that on. You don't really need to see this, but I'll just quickly do just that. So it's the top right element, top left rather, top left element, and usually I like to do it for no longer than 15 minutes, max really. To be fair, it actually starts to heat up long before that. But um, it really just depends on, on your preference. In fact, yeah, so I've just set that for 10 minutes, as you can see there. Really, that's the longest you need, seriously. In fact, you could probably do it in half that time. Um, so what we'll see here shortly, obviously, this is going to take a few moments, but it will start to bubble up. So it does pay to have your wooden spoon or whatever you use at hand, in your hand, to mix. Bear with me. Hmm, not too bad. Still needs a bit more time to heat up, for sure. But just having sampled that right now, what I can detect coming through infused in the flavors is certainly that cardamom. So like I say, that's the sweet curry powder. What you can also do as well, provided you have enough passata left, so that's the organic tomato passata, of course, we spoke about earlier. And as you can see, some bubbles already forming there, which is great. Um, you might want to add some more in, simply like so, just to give it a a fuller tomato flavour, it's purely up to you. That's not mandatory. Now, again with my lovely wooden spoon, we'll start to go around and around and around in 360 motion. And as that bubble did of course suggest, there is some heat now being being sent through the element into our pot and into our mix, which is great because it's obviously gonna bring those flavours out in readiness. So again, I'm just stirring this in. Again, I don't have to worry about doing it for too long, but like I say, every minute or so, it is important to be attending to the pot. Otherwise, it's gonna stick to the bottom and burn. So there you have it. That's the original tomato sauce mix. Of course, in this case, my ingredients were definitely customized to a certain point. And um, it is a mix I've tried successfully before, so that's why I wanted to try it again and obviously show you guys in this case. But certainly feel free to customize it as you so wish, but you'll find the foundation is certainly in this case premised upon those, <coughs> the sweet curry powder that really underpins the flavors. Obviously the tomato is crucial, the passata helps. And um, the veggie stock likewise, and certainly the balsamic vinegar is important to make sure is in the mix. So there you have it, tomato sauce.